Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is Hassan Yahyabi and in today's session we are going to talk about how we can incorporate web workers in our applications. To begin with, web workers are simply uh, here in order to fix a problem that we have in our current application because JavaScript, like we all know, are a single threaded uh, or have a single threaded execution lifecycle. And we can't simply execute many files or many JavaScript files at once. And if we do so, we are going to have many, many crash reports and our application going to crash. And that's the thing that we certainly don't want in our production of the applications. So today, uh, in order to make uh, uh, any kind of web workers, we need simply to listen to it or simply to register it. And also I need to mention that web workers simply are a JavaScript file that's going to be or that's going to execute inside the background process. So we can't uh, have any uh, crashes class. We can't have any uh, application freezing process. So whenever we do have this kind of heavy load application or heavy load data processing, we won't have or our UI won't simply block. So now in order to do so, we need to make sure that our browser support web workers and we can do so via a single if so if a window, so our browser uh, have the worker object, then our browser support it and let's make it or make the magic happen. First of all, let's start by creating a new file that go with the name of any name you want. So in this case, it's going to be a worker. Then let's simply initiate or introduce our worker. Let do the following, so that w equal to new worker and give it the name of the worker file. So it's worker.js. Then uh, uh, yeah, for the information, we in order to um, have a bi-directional bi -directional data exchange between our uh, index.html and my worker, simply we do have two methods. The one it's on uh, message. So w.onMessage, it's a function that's uh, going to allow me to listen to any message that coming or any incoming message from my web worker. So in my case, uh, whenever I got a new message, I want to append it to a new, uh, append it as a list item inside my unordered list. Now like the following, do the following messages dot append, then append it as a list item. So as I, and close it in here. Then all the data we're going to live inside the e or event dot data. Okay. <coughs> now, in order to send a new data from <coughs> my event or my input, that's going to be here. And when I, whenever I want to send a new message, I want simply to listen to a, a click. So again, uh, incorporating jQuery in our process. So jQuery then. Uh, going to be this event, so it's going to be the send message. So send message dot on, so it could be on click. Then it's going to be a function, uh, knee a handler. Then I want simply to grab the message, so message go to um, message or the input. So it's going to be the input message dot var or value. Then what I want, I want simply to push it via post message to my worker. So like the following, post message, and we are done. So now let's go to my worker and do the following, because like I said, we need to listen to incoming data and then post it. So self or the worker itself, then on message equal to a new function or a new handler. Then I'm going to grab, so let message equal to e dot data, same process. Now let's process it for instance and say the following. Uh, let me uh, suppose that I processed it and everything is okay. Let's simply now push it back to my UI. Like the following message plus Processed. Okay. Now everything seems to work just fine. Let's execute it via a web server. It's a necessity. Now let's do the following and say hello 
Linda users and hit OK. And now we do have our message get back to us. So I guess that to wrap up everything that we have talked about, about web workers, thank you very much for listening. Catch up with you in the next one. Peace.